My name is George Kwong, and I am the regional ambassador for the 10,000 Toast campaign in the Trans-Pacific Union mission. The Trans-Pacific Union mission covers a region of 11 countries spreading across the Pacific. And whilst we pride ourselves with our serene, clean environment, lots of fresh foods from the gardens and clean Pacific Ocean, we unfortunately are experiencing a pandemic. It's not so much the pandemic of COVID-19, but the pandemic of lifestyle diseases, in particular diabetes that is slowly eating away the very core and fabric of our families, communities, villages, and towns and cities. You see, in the Pacific, 75% of deaths are caused by non-communicable diseases or lifestyle diseases. Diabetes, the leading cause of death in the Pacific region, is amongst the highest in the world. And that is why the 10,000 Toast Campaign, an initiative of Adventist Health of the South Pacific Division and comes under the umbrella of Health and Lifestyle Ministry with its partners like Elia Wellness, Adra, Sanitarium, we are all working hard to turn the tide on diabetes. And why am I so passionate about this work? Diabetes has always been a special part of my life. The disease runs in the family with my grandmother and uncles. They all succumb to the disease or to diabetes some years back. And today, I'm just one of the thousands of families across the Pacific Islands whose immediate relatives have been, in a time or another, struck down by this dreaded disease. So, how do we tackle this deadly pandemic? Partnership. We can work together to turn the tide on diabetes in the Pacific through working with villages, communities, towns and authorities towards a holistic approach to good health. This is what the 10,000 Toast campaign is all about. A community-based initiative aimed at establishing partnerships with members of the communities, villages, and health professionals in the fight against diabetes by empowering everyone with the knowledge and skills to take control of their own lives. But first, we need to partner with our own people. We need to bring awareness through the supply of screening kits to every village and town for early detection of diabetes. We need to identify those at an early stage. And during the past 12 months, we have supplied close to 1,000 screening kits in villages in Vanuatu, the Solomon Islands, Kiribati, Tonga, and in Fiji. Then, we needed to recruit ambassadors to be our troops on the ground. These are our eyes and our ears, our feet and our hand. They cover every mile as they become the driving force of the campaign. And at first, we aimed to have 500 ambassadors. But during the first 12 months, despite the lockdown of COVID-19, we have 3,200 volunteer ambassadors across the South Pacific trained and carrying out screening in communities, in village health expos, knocking from door to door during their spare time, and making sure that as many people are covered as possible to be screened and to be identified. And our goal is to have 10,000 ambassadors by the year 2025. And then this becomes a real movement. So, right now, we need more ambassadors. We need you to sign up today by completing the 30 minutes training on our website www.10,000toes.com and become an ambassador today. And to assist in the logistics and movement of our ambassadors, the campaign has raised funds to purchase three mobile clinics, one for Vanuatu, one for the Solomon Islands and one for Fiji with a couple of boats to help in the Solomon Islands. And the campaign has impacted more than 300 villages and towns during the past 12 months with more than 6,000 people screened across the islands. Hadn't it been 
for COVID-19, we sure would have had many, many more screened and better results now. Identifying and training lifestyle coaches for lifestyle intervention programs is the key to sustaining this program. One such program is the HEAL program that was introduced to all our island nations that are taking part in the 10,000 Toast campaign. Health in every aspect of life. The long form for HEAL. Health in every aspect of life. The Pacific way. This introductory training program in lifestyle medicine uh, is recently being taught as a prerequisite for all 10,000 Toes ambassadors before moving up to another level. We are grateful with the partnership of LMA and ADRA enabling us to roll out the Live More Abundantly program, a key lifestyle intervention program. We have trained 80 facilitators and conducted, uh, and conducted intervention programs both in Vanuatu and in Fiji. And more churches in Fiji and in Kiribati are expected to run the programs in their communities now that COVID-19 restrictions are lifted. Thank you also to Centarium Foods for our partnership, enabling us to implement the CHIP programs. Hope Clinic Fiji for the first time ran a CHIP corporate program, graduating 20 in this corporate space just before COVID-19 lockdown. And they are expecting to run another program in a couple of weeks' time. And where do we run these programs? The campaign is already moving to partner with churches and all denominations and community halls to become wellness hubs, life centers, or places where people gather together to participate in activities that address their health needs. We will be talking more on Wellness Hubs tomorrow afternoon. And the campaign is also grateful to its partnership with Elia Wellness and the use of its valuable resources on lifestyle medicine available on the Elia platform. We are also happy to announce that this month we launched our 10,000 Toes digital database on the Elia Wellness platform. This is a step forward in keeping all our important screening data through the Trans-Pacific Union Mission region in one place. So, screening and happening anywhere can be viewed by our ambassadors in any part of the Trans-Pacific Union Mission and the South Pacific Division. This initiative facilitates efficiency and adds value to this campaign. We at the TPM, despite COVID-19, are seeing more and more strategic activities with ambassadors and churches leading the charge on turning the tide on diabetes in the Pacific. Hence, we would like to invite us all to become an ambassador today if you have not. Let us join hands in the fight against diabetes and save ourselves, our families, our communities, and we will see our Pacific region free from non-communicable diseases. Thank you all and God bless us.